My name is Isaac Hill. I'm a product specialist for Fent. Right now, this time of the year, there's a chase around a lot of planners, making sure that they're set up and uh, ready for success. We are in um, central Illinois. We have quite a few growers in this immediate area running a momentum planner. When I look at things that they have in common, um, they understand the market and the challenges that are in front of them today. I'm Alan Johnston. Uh, we're, I'm from Galve, Illinois. Roughly 4,000 acres. Um, we do some custom work and then we we farm a lot of owned and rented ground. Uh, my name is Craig Main. We're in Altona, Illinois in Knox County. I farm uh, about 1,400 acres of beans and 1,200 acres of corn this year. Roger Wallace. Um, farm roughly 700 acres between my son and myself. They understand that the planter pass is so important. They need to make sure that they're giving uh, each seed the best opportunity that it can have uh, for optimum yield potential. We want every plant out of the ground in a 24-hour period. Um, and so, yeah, timing is very important. Also, placement of the seed is very important. If we plant it two inches deep, for example, on corn, we want it to be two inches deep. We don't want it to be two in some places and three in others and one in others. Well, we bought the momentum planter for the downpours. Uniform emergence is uh, probably the number one as getting that plant off to the best start it can and having those plants at least within 24 hours of coming up with each other. They have the best they're all pollinating the same, they're all taking up the nutrients at the same time, and then as far as fungicide, you can spray everything and know confident that it's all being done and everything's at the same maturity. A plant that comes up late becomes a weed, and our acts just like a weed, and we want to avoid that if at all possible. We farm uh, a fair amount of ground that's uh, fairly rolly, and that's something we really liked about it is the way it just kind of followed the contour of the ground. We were planting the other day at a different farm and uh, we went through a waterway and it was just unbelievable. I happened to be riding at the time so I could watch and it was unbelievable the way the, the planter will flex. So as we look at the technology and we look at, at features like load, load logic, uh, being able to, to monitor and, and balance out the weight throughout the planter, uh, reducing, eliminating pinch rows with the, way that our, with the way that the tires are set up. Well, we're probably looking at a, a difference in yield that would be significant. One row to another, one that's pinched, another that's not. You know, you could probably see anywhere from 20 to 40 bushels difference. That's something we noticed. You can't even tell where the planter tires have run. So as we look at that throughout the time of the year, you know, as we're able to disperse that weight throughout the planter and, and eliminate pinch rows, um, there, are, there are some opportunity to get out in the field and maybe some less than ideal conditions. Some of our growers with uh, the Fent Momentum have been able to get into the fields a little bit quicker. As the weather turns, we're going to just roll through some ground with this high speed. We're going to cover acres and it's going to be done at an efficient and a great uh, seed bed and preparation for the give the corn plant the best opportunity to get out of the ground. You know, we'll see when the combine runs this fall. We're hoping this planter does give us another yield boost. The farming cycle is year-round, right? Um, whether it is whether there is a planter's pass, a tillage pass, uh, you know, and hydrous pass, whatever you're doing, your harvest pass, um, and they all tie together.